And we're live. It's Adam Robinson, founder and CEO of Retention.com. My first company grew with a boiler room type sales operation that was fueled by a large pool of leads that came from a data mining strategy. We had a second pool of leads that was much larger, but the quality was way worse. So the only question was how much worse? Now, here's where it gets interesting. In order to try to figure it out, we put three of our best sales guys on the leads to see if they perform well enough to keep the sales operation going. It seemed like they were performing well enough, so we decided to aggressively ramp headcount into this larger pool of leads. We hired a very senior recruiter from a headhunting agency. We built an intern program. We hired a bunch of new bodies that we were training up. We got everybody on that new list and crickets. People were not even picking up the phone, much less converting. I remember the day we realized it, walking into the back room with my co-founder James and just being like, what have we done? I went through the list of people I normally seek counsel from about these types of difficult situations, and we knew what we had to do. The next day, I pulled 25 of our 32 employees into a room and gave the following speech. If you were in this room, you no longer have a job. I took all the blame. It was terrible. It caused a visa issue for the recruiter who came from Australia. It was truly the worst thing I've ever been through as a founder. But the silver lining was that we were a subscription business. We were basically break even with all those 30 something people and we became hyper profitable when we downsized. And eight years later, I arrived here for that. I am very grateful. What are the lessons that come from this miserable, horrible, terrible experience that I hope nobody has to live through, but if you do, it will make you stronger. Number one, actually be convicted, like really convicted before you start ramping headcount. These are people's lives you're messing with. You just have to, you can't think, you have to know that it is going to work. Um, number two, and this is something I really actually, in hindsight, I, I respect this about, or I appreciate the fact about that I did this so quickly. You got to chop quickly when there's a threat to your business and you realize it's not happening. Uh, I, sh I thought this showed actually signs of maturity as an entrepreneur on, on my, my, my part. Um, number three, take responsibility for failures as the leader. Try to give credit to others when they succeed, but you have to own this. Like this was my fault. I messed up. I misread. I ramped. I shouldn't have. It's my fault. They're going to crap on you on glass door. Everyone's going to hate you for a long time, but you just have to own it. And then find them jobs. If you ever have to do a mass firing, do literally everything you can to land all those people with another job. Um, those are the four lessons that I walked away with from firing 25 people at once. It was the most miserable thing I ever had to do as a leader. Follow me if you want to see me build a unicorn in public. Um, Adam Robinson signing off.